that's nice. Um, because I want to like go straight to the gym after work. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone and drinking pre-workout final 30 minutes of my shift. Gym's right across the street. We got it all figured out. But that's enough about me. What brings you in today? Is you're just looking for a variety of vinyls and CDs to collect. Okay. How long have you been, uh, like purchasing physical copies of music? Like collecting? Two or three months? Yeah, that's really cool. I started about a year ago. Um, it's super fun, man. And, um, so what type of music are you into? Okay. So you just, you literally just want a wide variety of genres. Okay. Cool. Cool. Would you like to start with CDs or vinyls first? CDs. Okay. Let me run to the back and get a few recommendations and uh, then I will bring them to you. You can just look around and uh, if you have a question, you can ask my partner over there. Sound good? All right. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So we are back with a variety of CDs. Um, these genres do vary quite a bit, uh, but not, you know, too extreme. Uh, so the first one I got is The Lumineers. This is their, I think, debut album. I'm pretty sure. Um, and this is like, you know, in a slim case, actually. That's how they, uh, The Lumineers do their albums. And a lot of bands actually do their CDs. If there's no particular songs that ring a bell when you hear that name, Lumineers, Oh Hey is a very popular song by this group. It's probably their biggest hit ever. Um, it's a great song. As you can see here is the uh, track list. Some of my favorites on this particular album are Oh Hey, Stubborn Love, which is amazing as well. And I think Morning Song I also really liked, which is the 11th song of the album. It's right there. But the, you know, it's a very great indie rock album. Um, this is probably my favorite genre of music is indie folk, indie rock, um, you know, acoustic style music. And this is a great band for that. So I highly recommend this one, which is currently pre-owned. So this is only going for $7. You like this one? Awesome, awesome. All right. And so our next album I'm going to recommend you today. This one is so good. This is the Goo Goo Dolls' Dizzy Up Girl album. When I tell you that this album, there's really not a single song that I dislike. I mean it. Um, of course, I like some songs more than others. I have my favorites on this album. But every song is super solid. Um, this album also is their album with their most popular song in their entire discography. That still gets played on the radio all the time. Iris. Such a beautiful song. Um, in a very strange guitar tuning. I think it's B, D, D, D. It's a very unique guitar tuning, amazing song, um, but some of my favorites on this album, of course, Iris, that's, you know, uh, Dizzy is probably my favorite song on this entire album, though, which is the deep, which is their first song, the first song on it. Um, uh, Slide was another, the, the two big songs on this were probably Iris and Slide, which is, uh, Slide's another really good song. Just a very solid album, as you can see here. Let me open it for you. As you can see, you got awesome artwork here. Right there. And yeah. So this is also pre-owned, and it's only going for six dollars. Good choice, good choice. Yeah, that's a really good one. Uh, to be honest, uh, but I am familiar with quite a bit. 
synchronicities. Synchronicity 2 is definitely the more liked out of the two synchronicity tracks in this album, but I like the first synchronicity actually better, uh, personally. But uh, every song other than Mother on this album is terrific. You got Every Breath You Take, of course. Um, you know, just such a great album. Ooh, okay. So the next album we got here today is a Coldplay album. This is their X and Y album. A terrific um, album. I love Coldplay. I know some people don't like them, but um, I don't like their newer work as much as I do their old work, like albums such as this. Um, what was some of my favorite uh, songs on this album are Talk, um, Obviously Fix You, it's an iconic song from uh, their discography. Speed of Sound, Swallowed in the Sea. But my favorite song by Coldplay, and debatably of all time, is also on this album, Till Kingdom Come. Um, such a good song. Um, it's definitely an unpopular opinion, but I don't know. Uh, growing up, though, is always just my favorite song. And uh, just such a beautiful song. some of the tracks. Um, Till Kingdom Come is not even listed on here. There's four bonus tracks, and that's one of them uh, on this album. As you can see. There's the CD. And we're actually having a uh, um, Coldplay sale. So this is only three bucks, because it's also uh, pre-owned by, like, you know, there's been quite a few different elements but it does work perfectly fine. We test these, obviously. You'll take it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so the next one I got for you today is a album pretty much every person that listens to music and collects CDs does have, whether they like this group or not, uh, just because it's an iconic album, one of the most. Some say it's the greatest album ever made. This is Pink Floyd's Dark Sides of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon, I bet. I'm gonna be honest with you. I um I appreciate Pink Floyd and I don't hate them at all. Like I'm not like a hater. I don't like you know diss their music. Because if so many people like it, it's obviously brilliant, but it's definitely not for me. I um I don't see the greatness in this album. I am sorry. Uh to any to if you a decent listen. Like, I'm not sitting here and saying it's garbage, but it's not something I'd really go out of my way to listen to again. If that makes sense. But it's an iconic album, uh, really, and this band is it actually is its 50th anniversary, I think, just a couple weeks ago, and this band has stood the test of time like no other, and I have a lot of respect for them, even if they're not my favorite or anything. that one. Would you like this one today? You already have it. Yeah, I figured everyone pretty much does, uh, whether they've been collecting music for a couple months to for years, you know. It's very popular. Uh, and now I'm going to show you a couple of our vinyls that I picked out for you. So the first vinyl I got for you today is Viva La Vida. Now this right here is Coldplay's fourth album. Or third album, I'm not sure. Um, and as you can see, of course, it's in there, the, the final. And this is probably the last time, the, this is the last album Coldplay has made that I really thought well, felt like old Coldplay. Um, and I might even say this is my favorite Coldplay album, debatably. Uh, it has some amazing songs. Lovers in Japan, Viva La Vida, of course. It's probably my favorite song on this album, to be honest. Uh, Lost, I love Lost. A Strawberry Swing, Violet Hill. I mean, like, every song is so good on this album. And the beautiful artwork. I forget what this painting is called. It's a famous, very, very famous uh, painting that was, I think, painted in the 1800s during the French Revolution. I'm not sure. And music is Viva La Vida is like the most iconic song ever. When that plays, you instantly know it. It's like in that tier of like known. Um, and it's so unique. Um, it's literally about, I think, King 
really, really cool. This is probably 
probably my favorite Spider-Man score. Um, it's just terrific, and it actually came with a sheet, I forgot. Here is, here is all the songs that are on it, and their, the durations. Um, and it just has some really, a really cool picture right here of the enemy of the movie, Dr. Connors the Lizard. Um, and it, you know, you know, of course goes into all the, uh, you know, other than James Horner, there's of course a million, there's hundreds of people they give uh, thanks to for the violins, the orchestra. Um, you know, this is what, this is why I love collecting vinyls. It's, it's this type of stuff right here. And so I'll open it up and show you really quick here. Let me get my stuff right there. And so as you can see, and each vinyl, this is another really cool thing. Awesome artwork. We got, this is the first vinyl that it comes with, the side A and B. I'll get it out and as you can see the green right there I'm not gonna get it all out because it's gonna be a pain in the butt to put these back but um, yeah so that's kind of a limited edition color pretty much the good way the, the best way I can put it is think of the lizard in the movie if you have you seen the film yeah it's it, the exact color of the lizard uh, it has the, that black you know little specks to it as well here we got the side B, yeah, I mean, uh, side C and D. We got Peter and Gwen. I love that picture. Then we got the webhead climbing up a wall. Um, but man, this is this was really cool. I actually picked up a copy for myself. Um, when we got a shipment in, we got three in out of the 2,000 made. Are you interested in this today? You are? Awesome, yeah. This is pricey, though, I will warn you, you might change your mind. This is $65 for the um, kind of rareness to it. It is new, though. You'll still take it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, well, I will put all your stuff that you're ready to buy to the side. I got a clock out, but my partner over here, Mike, he's going to uh, ring you up. And, and, yeah. Hey, yo, Mike, can you ring this person up? All right, thanks. Yeah, so... Mike's going to ring you up. i got to clock out. Uh, but thank you so much for stopping in, and I hope to see you again. And I hope you enjoy 